consider yourself a trader, an investor, or a gambler? Well, I do trade stocks, but in the main, uh, I am an investor. I mean, I buy stocks with a view to holding them for a long time uh, on the Buffett lines of uh, if you don't want to buy a stock in the belief that you hold it for 10 years, the answer is you shouldn't buy it at all, buy it at all. I certainly am rather contemptuous of buying things and taking out a profit in quarter of an hour. Uh, I'm not saying it can't be done and I'm not saying it shouldn't be done. It's not something that I look to do, that's all. And one has to remember, you know, the dealing costs are quite heavy going in and out, but whilst everyone's taking their cut along the way. So one should be cautious about uh, incurring those sort of costs in relation to the profit that one is going to make. Well, what do you, so what, what drives you then, do you think? Is it the, the excitement, the reward, the financial rewards, or is it, is it the fact that you're an intelligent man and you like the, the intellectual stimulation in it regards? Oh, I love the intellectual stimulation. I think it's terrific. Uh, but I do like gambling and also I like thinking about stocks. Well, you better think quick once the markets start moving because it's not going to wait for you whilst you catch up on your thinking. You better turn your mind to it quickly. One is perhaps, if I can make the silly comparison, but it's a sort of comparison that will stand, uh, one is really uh, in, in the position of a fighter pilot. Uh, when there's no one else in the cockpit besides you and you must decide as you go uh, when you'll pull out of a dive and when you'll beat it for home. I mean, those are decisions you make as you go. I don't think there's any way of preparing for this in advance of actually doing it. There's a statement here. The, the, the impression is that it's not enough for you to be right. People need to know that you're right. What's your, what's your sort of thought on that? Uh, I suppose people who are self-opinionated fall into two categories. Those who are self-opinionated eat quiet, and those who, having uh, come to an opinion, like to tell, it, tell other people about it. Well, as I mentioned to you earlier, I am a natural communicator, a compulsive communicator. So it's just part of my makeup to go on and prove a point. I couldn't stop myself doing it if I tried.